Hello everyone. We will continue the topic function module. And in the previous video, we took the requirement. What is the requirement? That input will be single value of order number and output will be details of order number from order header and order item table. Four columns from order header table, two columns from order item table. And we put so much stress. Our output is a internal table. Our output is in the form of table. Table of how many columns? Six columns and multiple rows will be there. Now we will proceed from there. Whenever you want a internal table in our current scenario, our internal table has how many columns? Six columns. If I want a internal table of six columns, it means I require a structure type of how many columns? Six columns. Now you all know what are the various ways to create a structure type. You can create a structure type through coding. You all know whenever you are creating a structure type through coding, how you are creating using types keyword begin of and you are giving the name and we can provide the six column. That is one way to create a structure type that we are creating through coding. Now, what is the second way to create a structure type? Same to same structure type we can create through SC11 transaction code also. Yes, in the internal table, when I explained the topic to what are the various ways to declare an internal table. At that time, this topic was fully, fully explained that you can create a structure type using two ways. One way you can create through coding. One way you can create through SC11 transaction code. Now the most important point. I want a structure type of six column. Just see, do you have any provision here to create a structure type of six column through coding? No, there is no such provision here to create a structure type using coding. Can I write here type statement begin of and can I go for six column? No, that option is not possible here. It means compulsory you need to create a structure type using which transaction code? SC11 transaction code. And you all know whenever you are creating a structure type through SC11 transaction code, that is a global it is reusable. We can reuse anywhere. So whenever we will create a structure type through SC11, we will use here in the export tab of function module. Most, most important point, especially for the beginners or freshers. Whenever we want an internal table of six column, it means we require a structure type of six column. Structure type you can create by two ways. Either you can create through coding or you can create through SC11 transaction code. But there is no way here, there is no option here to create a structure type through coding. It means compulsory we need to create using which transaction code? SC11. So we will go to SC11. And I will create a structure type of six column. So I will choose the third radio button data type. I will give some name to the structure type. Suppose I'm saying ZSTR underscore order detail. I'm creating a structure type for order details. We'll go for create. We need to go for structure type, structure type. I will write structure. 
Now four column from which table? Header table. Two column from which table? Item table. So we will only copy paste. Four column from header table. Order number. Type data element of order number. Now order date. Type data element of order date. Next column payment mode. Data element of payment mode. Currency. Type data element of currency. Four columns from header table. Now two columns from item table. Item table order item number. Data element of order item number. Item cost. Type data element of item cost. Now amount field always require a reference table reference field. So we need to pass. Yes. So our reference field is in the current structure itself. So what is our current structure? This is our current structure. And we already have a currency field currency. So we will pass the reference from the same structure. You can pass the reference from any existing things also. It's total your wish. But in our current scenario, the reference field is already available in the current structure. So we pass it from there itself. And we all know, yes, amount and quantity always require a reference table, reference field. I will activate the structure. I will save it as a local object and the structure is active. Now your structure type is active. Can we use in the function module export tab? Yes, we can use in the function module export tab because it is a global structure. We can reuse anywhere. Now I will go to the function module. And again, most, most important point will come whenever we will write. Suppose my name of the internal table is LT final. How you are declaring a internal table? Internal table. What is the word here? Type table of. Whenever you are using structure type to declare an internal table, how you are declaring internal table, type table of structure type. This is the name of the structure type. We will pass. And most, most important point will come down. I am pressing enter. Now you can see I am getting a error that type table of is not supporting. You cannot use type table of word here. We cannot use the keyword type table of. Now, what people will do to remove this or to resolve the error, they will remove table of word. Now they are saying we corrected the error. Just think you have written LT underscore final type structure type. Just tell me, is this a internal table or work area? It is a work area. It is not an internal table because for the internal table, table word is compulsory. Table word is compulsory. Now people will resolve the error by simply removing table of word. So it means it is not an internal table. It is a work area. Now we, we have to use the word table of. Now the question is table of is not accepting. It is only only accepting table word. Now question comes. It is already explained previously. If I want 
LT final as a internal table. Table of word is not accepting. How I can make this as a internal table? You all know what is the other way to declare an internal table? Internal table type table type table type. It is fully fully explained in the internal table concept that what are the various ways to declare an internal table. If you are using structure type as of now this is structure type at that time table of word is compulsory internal table type table of structure type now table of word is not accepting table word is not accepting here it means if i want a internal table I need to compulsory create a table type, table type. So how I will create a table type? I will go to SC11 transaction port because there is no option to create a table type through coding here. We cannot create a table type through coding. It means compulsory. We need to go for what? SC11 transaction port. So I will give some name to the table type create table type now i will write table type and inside this table type i will pass the name of the structure this is the structure i will activate the table type now if you already have a table type table type now I will pass the name of the table type here, table type here. Now it is already a table type, table type. It means is the table word is compulsory now? No, it is not compulsory because two times we will not go for table word. So we declare the internal table, internal table type, table type ultimately table word is there huge huge amount of learning and most most important learning and i will activate this function module now we will go for most important summary here so that you can understand what we did here in this particular example our output is a internal table of six columns Whenever you want an internal table of six column, it means you require a structure of six column. You require compulsory a structure type of six column. Now structure type. You can create through coding also. Coding means using type statement. Or you can create through SC11 also. First most important point. We cannot create a structure type using coding here because there is no option to write a code here. We can only declare, but we cannot write a code here. It means we need to create a structure type using which transaction code? SC11. So we created the structure type of how many columns? Six columns through which transaction code? SC11. Now, whenever you are creating a structure type through SC11, can you reuse anywhere? Yes, we can reuse anywhere. So what is the way to declare an internal table? Internal table, type table of structure type. Whenever you are using structure type compulsory, you have to use the word type table of but when you use the word type table of, we got the error that you cannot use a type table of word here. We will only, only go for type word. Now, see, just think, if you want a internal table and type table of keyword is not accepting, but you want a internal table, it means compulsory, you need to create what? table type because in the table type word table is there so 
we cannot create table type through coding here because there is no option. So we created the table type using which transaction code SC11. Inside the table type, we pass the name of the structure. So this is table type. So how we declare the internal table? Internal table type table type. Because this is fully, fully explained in the internal table concept that what are the various ways to declare a internal table. And it's a very important point that how you can go for structure type, table type in this, all these tabs of the, of, in this import, export, changing tabs of the function module. So that's it in this video. In the next video, we will start with the logic part in the function module. Thank you.